Canada, uh, which is the Canadian chapter of the London-based organization, and it has branches in Norway, Sweden, and Denmark. It's a non-profit organization that is struggling to raise the issue of gross human rights violations committed against the Baloch community by the Pakistani and Iranian authorities in Eastern and Western Balochistan, respectively. Uh, BHRC is primarily involved in raising international awareness on enforced disappearances, torture, and extrajudicial killing of uh, Baloch youth in Pakistan and Iran with the cooperation of UN Working Group on Enforced uh, or Involuntary Disappearances. Uh, Mr. Dr. Zafar Baloch, please, the floor is here. South Asia cannot be detached from its history of cultural diversity, British Raj, and the division that took place in 1947. Past has a way of haunting the present when it comes to the long-term ills of separation and loss of identity as a people. Centuries of British colonial rule and its final demise in the Indian subcontinent changed the course of history of the region. The departed colonial power left behind a legacy of artificial borders, territorial demarcations, mass exodus, and a newly founded state which have now become the deep-seated causes of wars, conflicts, and extremism in South Asia, destabilizing the whole region. British occupation of Baluchistan in 1939 was part of the imperial forward policy to gain control over Afghanistan and to contain the Russian influence in the area. What followed was a series of three Anglo-Afghan wars and demarcation of imaginary boundaries that left Baluchistan and Afghanistan divided with the loss of territory and people to alien states and cultures. The British boundary commissions of Major General Goldsmith 1871, Sir Henry Mortimer Durant, 1893, and Sir Arthur Henry McMahon, 1896, drew lines in the sand and with the stroke of a pen divided a 700-year-old sovereign nation of Baloch into parts of Iran and Afghanistan. A large part of Baluchistan, however, stayed under British control and was granted freedom on August 12, 1947, 
two days prior to the creation of Pakistan. Unfortunately, the independence of Balochistan was a dream that ended in a nightmare when on March 27, 1948, Pakistani occupation forces entered Kalat, the capital of a sovereign nation, and ended its nascent freedom. The anti-colonial struggles and movements of national liberation never ended with the departure of the British from Balochistan. Since 1948, the Pakistani occupied Balochistan has witnessed five wars of independence, including the ongoing struggle that has become marred with gross human rights 